Peace and love, creatives. Well, here we have a really, really nice drawing that I did sitting on my couch. I decided why keep myself like contained to my little sketchbook. I taped some Arches watercolor paper onto the back of my Arches watercolor sketch pad and I took it to my my couch and I sat down with the family while you know while we had our little night cap kind of thing you know hang out get you know talk about the 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 day and all that kind of stuff and uh yeah I just started sketching this and it turned into a, a piece that I really 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 am proud of just you know the hair the way I, I got the the lines of the hair and just everything about this sketch just a sketch not even the painting process just the sketch was I enjoyed it so much it was so fun and inking it was even more fun I was scared initially but um, I think I, I think it came out okay the the inking the ink I'm using is uh, dr. PH Martin's Bombay uh, India ink now I'm using the color violet and I decided I was trying to use that um, palette right there on the side that I have but it wasn't deep enough I thought it was going to be I saw um, another YouTube artist by the name of Cosmic Spectrum using it and it really worked for her it didn't work for me possibly because I'm an amateur and she's a little bit more professional than I am but um I decided to use my little container and uh, ink the lines out that way with my dip pen so now that I was done inking it was time to prep my uh, my palette with the paint that I'm gonna use and um, the colors that I want to use uh, these little travel paint brushes by the way I am loving them they're a lot of fun it's like what you need as far as you know painting with watercolor that's all you need those three paint brushes, uh, three paint brush brushes right there I, I just love them um, so you saw me clean my, my palette because I didn't need any of those colors and I needed the space to put my new colors. I wasn't 100% sure of the colors that I wanted to use for this uh, painting, but I had an idea. So I just, I just went for it and prepared a couple of different um, colors that I thought I would use for this picture um, one being I wanted uh, oh right here I'm just cutting a piece of paper so that when I do get my colors I can swatch them and I have like a little swatch sheet of the colors that I made always make a little swatch seat sheet on the side for the colors that you have it just helps you um, better understand you know the colors you're using and also they'll dry on that swatch sheet a little bit different than what you thought they would sometimes so it, it's just nice to have here I actually was going to use that color for her hair and it's um it's a Daniel Smith uh I forgot the name of them, but they're like the pearlescent line of Daniel Smith. And then I decided not to go with that, but you'll see that at the end, or you know, towards the end. Uh, so I got my palette more or less ready for the colors that I think I'm going to use, and I wet the top portion of the paper. And I know that I want glowing stars I know I'm like obsessed with like the glowing effect I just want to get it I want to get it and I want to do it right mm, spoiler it doesn't really happen here but <laughs> it's okay it I still really do love the way it came out um, 
so I just, you know, I put the stars in with a moist background, hopefully getting the glow effect that I wanted, but you'll see. You'll see what happens. Uh, here I uh, drew my girl with um, a kind of like a George Michael kind of hat going on. She's giving me 80s vibes, like hard, so that's what I'm going to go with. Super 80s vibes. Uh, George Michael hat. George Michael? What is his name? Is it George Michael? No, it's not George Michael. It's the other one. Oh, God. I don't remember his name. Anyway, I'm bad with names. Just in case you didn't know, I am. But, um, yeah, initially I thought her hat was going to be black and I was going to be okay with it being black. And I'm like, mm. I didn't... I, even if I like made it pitch black, like super dark black, I don't know if I would be happy with it. So I made like a darkish purple kind of color and I threw that, that in there kind of to make it seem like, I don't know, like, not like the galaxy, but I wanted those colors in the background. So I put the uh, purple on top of the black and it kind of like was a happy little accident that I started with black and then I put that color on top because I really love the effect that it gave because I did that. And I'm moving on to her face and her face took like maybe three transitions before I got it to where I wanted to get, just you know, where I wanted it. Um, but the process getting there was kind of like it was like educational, if that makes any sense. Like, here I put her like little blushies and her shadows where I thought I would want them, and then I go on top of it with um her skin color that I made and I don't know if it made a difference with starting like that and then moving with her, into it with her skin color but that's how I that that's why I did it I thought it would be um helpful if I put her blushes like her tones and her um highlights in before I put her uh skin color down but um, I ended up changing it, and I don't know, like I said, I don't know if when I put the, uh, the pink, the blushes, and the, and the shading, if it helped or if it, if it did anything, but I did it anyway, and I don't know. The reason why I'm saying this is, will I repeat the process? Yes, because I like the outcome, and I don't know if the process was the right process but I like the outcome so I might just be doing things like kind of like you know over and over like redundant like it won't make sense to anybody else especially people who actually know what they're doing but it helped me get to the where I wanted to get to with the the um picture so I'm gonna do that again I am um, yeah. Here I decide to go in with the color that I'm like, yeah, that's gonna be the background. I love it. <laughs> that's the color. I swatched it. I was like, it's right. That's what I want. And then, like, you'll see. Eventually, it's definitely not the color I keep. I just feel like I wanted a darker vibe in the background and I wanted a glow on her um, skin and the surrounding that if I kept it with this bluish tone here that I have, it wasn't going to make sense. So I change it. <laughs> but the color is really nice. It's a really pretty color. <laughs> I'll use that color again eventually. Here I added um, red to 
the background color because I, I, right here I knew I wasn't going to uh, use that color again. I was like, okay, let's change it up and try to use it for somewhere else. And honestly, I was like, I'm not going to make her hair purple. <laughs> I went in absolutely against the idea of making her hair purple. Why? Because I don't know. I don't even know. But by the end of it, here we are. Well, the middle of it. And I made her hair purple. And I love that I did this. I do. And I just think it was like the, the right move, you know? So, sorry, not sorry. Um, only, oh, jeez. All right, you know, like, it's not even the ugly phase at this point. This is like the uh-oh phase. Like, oh my god. <laughs> everything is bleeding into everything. What am I doing? <laughs> I was, like, in panic mode, trying to, like, mop up the paint from seeping into her face like if you see in her neck and her cheek like there's paint seeping into every crevice of where it's not supposed to be and i'm like oh no i ruined it but and i'm gonna i'm gonna just go out there and say that it's definitely the paper that i'm using that i was able to lift up the paint the way i did because not all wa watercolor paper is made the same. I don't care what anybody says. You want to pick up some uh, color the way I did, it won't work on like um, the cheaper brands, which is okay. It's just um, you have to know what you're doing a lot more when you have the less expensive watercolor paper, I feel. That's just my opinion. But here I had the arches. I know that I can relift um, paint when I put it down. And depending on the situation, for the most part, I can relift. So I did that, and thank goodness I didn't completely ruin it. And I lifted the paint, and all was well. <laughs> and I moved on. Yeah, but it was it was I was panicking. Especially, I really, really do love this piece. I love the way I drew it. I, I just, I love everything about it. So, I would have been really, really disappointed if I was not able to fix that error. And here, I'm trying to kind of like make up for that background. And I'm like, okay, maybe I can just like make the glowy yellow parts a little bit more glowy. So I just kind of like went in real heavy with um, the yellow of my set. Honestly, I don't know the colors that I used. I know that they are Daniel Smith watercolors. I don't know all the color names. So, sorry. And here's yet another transition with her face um, with a little bit of a darker tone. And I believe this is the last time I do that, but yes. <laughs> Just yes with this tone. It, yeah. I wanted her to have a darker complexion. And although the complexion that she had was, um, it was nice. There was nothing wrong with it, but that's not the, that's not what I envisioned so I'm glad that I was able to get closer to what I had in my mind for the color There was a lot of moments with her her lips that I'm like, oh my god, I messed it up. <laughs> um, but at the end, I do like the way it came out. I do. Here I'm just adding blush to her cheeks to give some shading and definition, contour, all that good stuff onto her face. I'm learning. Um... I know what I have to do in my head 
because I've seen it so many times. Um, do I get it completely? No. Is it hard? Yes. But I am, I am going to, I'm going to get it. I'm going to master it. It's just going to take time. But, um, yeah, I just, I, I want to make, you know, her cheeks look like her cheeks are coming out and, and, and like her lips are nice and plump. And I feel like at the end of this piece that I have, um, not 100% got it, but I feel like I'm headed in the right direction with, um, the techniques that I used in this piece, if that makes sense. I don't know. Here, I'm just adding shading where I think the shade, you know, needs to be. <laughs> um, and I think uh, this part here with uh, the darkness of the uh, purple, I'm adding that to her hair. Uh, combined with the strands and the darker highlights of the strands. I feel like the like it made her hair like pop the way I wanted it to. I spent so much time <laughs> just doing the line art for her hair. Like just when I was sketching it that I felt like if I messed this up during the painting process then the whole page was ruined. Like usually I designate those emotions, <laughs> those crazy emotions to um, when I'm doing her face because I don't know, I just feel like if you mess up the face, that's it, it's over. But because I, I dedicated so much time and effort to making sure her, the strands were just like beautiful. I felt like if I messed that up, I, I would be like super disappointed. I don't know. I just, I really love when artists are able to make the hair strands. Um, and you see it a lot in like comics and stuff like that. Um, but there is an artist on uh, YouTube and I, I've mentioned her earlier uh, called uh, Cosmic Spectrum where Oh my goodness, like, I swear to God, it's like, <laughs> it's like second nature to her. She's like, okay, this is where the strand goes and I'm going to put it here and here and here and here and here and, and then it's just perfect. And she does it with ink and she sketches it beforehand, but um, when she's inking her page, she absolutely 100% freehands some of it on top of the sketch. And I just think it's like, hashtag goals you know what I mean but um I'm I feel like I don't know I feel like this piece it, I'm not there I know I'm not but I feel like this piece is in like heading in the right direction with that kind of stuff I just like super proud of this piece I, I feel silly like I, I'm not silly I, I feel proud I'm just proud of this piece. And because of the uh, amount of stuff that I do on YouTube and going back and forth of doing uh, different pieces of art and having to edit and look back at my work and what I did for editing reasons but it, it helps me to see where I made errors and where I need to fix things and um, even if you don't want to do like YouTube videos and stuff like that I really do recommend you recording yourself doing your art it really does help 
it helps to show where you need improvement where you need to sometimes you just need to like pump your brakes get up walk away leave it alone <laughs> and come back i think that's like important so if any advice i can give is if you can find something to prop up your 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 phone your camera something to record your process i say do it because it really does help you um just see not only where you've gone wrong but where you've done like really like wow that was great let's do that let's keep doing that you know what i mean so i don't know i recommend that but you see that in the back I have changed the background and now the stars look sad and 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 and, and, and in need of like some kind of like respirator <laughs> but I fix it kind of I do it's not the focal point anyway we don't have to worry about that here I'm just trying to like add shading and highlights and you know make her uh, her face just stand out a little bit more I'm just trying to cover up a little bit more of the background because I, at this point I'm like it doesn't look right i'm going to have to touch it up with something else which i do so let me cover the background and hopefully come in and make it look the way i wanted it to look oh this was like a happy little accident when i blotted the paper and i kind of lifted some of the um paint up it was like perfect that was the color I wanted that's what I wanted and um, I let it dry and then I went in with some Posca's I started with the skinnier Posca's thinking that it was gonna help me um, with control and you know give me a better look and I was like uh yeah no. <laughs> and I went with my big boy and um, I used my finger to kind of like blot out the star to give it a little bit more of that um glowy effect kind of thing maybe possibly I don't know if I... <laughs> but that's what I was trying to do can we just admire the glow that I got on her hair over there like I am like I'm impressed with myself <laughs> I, I like it. I, I think it's good. And I think it was a good choice. Um, I have to give credit to um, a YouTuber named I'm a Wonder for like being bold enough to put these other uh, light highlights on her face and her eyes, her cheeks. And like it, it just, it made the piece for me. I think it made the piece. And it helped portray the um, glowing effect that I was trying to um, accomplish. So let's um, take the tape off and see how it looks. Here I'm just adding a couple more stars and, and doing the same effect so that, you know, it's um, consistent. And now I'm just donning a couple of stars in the background. Adding some highlights where I think it needs it and that's it. I am like super proud of this. I really, really, really like it. <laughs> what do you guys think? Let me know. Peace and love. Thanks for watching.